This is Showtime Sean Porter and you are watching Heavy Bag Boxing. You too! YouTube, Big T of Heavy Bad Boxing TV. Man, if you don't get your goof ass in here and hit that bag, catch me for the first time. Please like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely hit that little bell. Get it black. So when I drop, take a few minutes, come hang out with your boy. All right, man. Uh, it's some words flying around the water cooler. Rumors is what they like to call it. Sources close to uh, the Bud Camp. Uh, uh, is saying that he could potentially get this Sebastian Bondora fight, right? Um, I think we all believe that once they uh had announced Earl Spence and Sebastian Fondora had came to some terms of agreement, right? It was reported that they had agreed to actually fight this fall sometime, that it was a wrap. Right. You saw Earl Spence jump in the ring. Um, you saw him tell Bud online that he don't he doesn't do lines. And uh we all felt like, hey, you know, for Bud or for Spence's first fight back versus the likes of a Sebastian Fondor that could potentially be a big fight in AT&T Stadium in, in Dallas. Uh, you know, all of the Earl sexuals. Were, were excited or, or are excited for this because I'm pretty sure they don't believe the, these rumors. Um, but all I can say is initially when Sebastian Fundora was asked, he said he would love to fight uh, Earl Spence. But he actually wanted to fight Bud Crawford next. This is what he said. This was straight out of the horse's mouth. And Maybe they ha that has been taken into consideration. Maybe somehow, some way, Bud is in a position now uh, that he's the WBA and the WBO interim to be able to kind of force uh, 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 Earl Spence out. Wait, the motherfucking man because no again, more. I'm the one. It appears that Bud Crawford would be fighting Sebastian Fundora and. Earl Spence could potentially be fighting Erickson Lubin. What the hell did you just say? Yeah, this is just talk around the water cooler. Don't, you know, don't hold me to none of this shit. I'm just reporting to you guys what we are hearing. And I just seen a couple other channels report the same thing. So somebody got the loose lips and is talking. I'm not sure who. I'm not sure why. But we could potentially be getting Bud and Sebastian and uh, uh earl spence and erickson lubin which i i like it man listen you know at the end of the day spence ain't done nothing he ain't even got busy at 54 yet Bruh. right you had boots who was the undisputed champion use those use that status to get that muratala fight but spence ain't, ain't done shit Bruh. uh and if he is to Get into another eliminator. Damn, shout out Harrison Lubin with I don't know how many eliminators. But I can see that fight versus you going straight after the, the champ. I mean, especially coming off a loss. Fair is fair in my opinion. I mean, I wasn't completely mad at it, but when you're looking at it from just a fair standpoint, it makes sense for Spence to have to work his way up from somewhere and not just the number one damn spot. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? I would have been saying the same thing about Bud had he lost. But these are the talks around the water cooler. Definitely want to know y'all's thoughts, man. That's all I got for you on this one. Big Teal, have your bag. I'm out of here, man. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.